Tasty, nutritious, healthy and safe. Key ingredients in any kitchen catering to the modern consumer. People move from just basic sustenance to thinking about maybe more nutrition and then eventually they get to uh, where does the food come from, is it ethically sourced, is it sustainable, how are the farmers being treated. With an appetite for protein set to increase exponentially in the Asian market, people are asking more questions. From protecting animals, to diving deep into the ocean to look at plastics and other contaminants that are of growing concern to our health. Unfortunately, the way that we are emptying our ocean, catching fish and other uh, seafood from the ocean is not sustainable. Producing more than 60% of the world's oxygen, the ocean's overall health depends on the health of its marine ecosystem. Companies like Avant, the first cultivated fish producer in Asia, are focused on sustainability through proteins curated from cells. We form Avon with the goal to use our technology to produce fish and seafood products so that we do not need to go and catch fish from the ocean so that we can leave the ocean uh, to replenish itself for a healthier planet. Avon's technology turns cells plucked from fish into products like restaurant-ready fish fillets and fish more with a range of other offerings in the pipeline. Starting with starter cells, stored at a temperature of minus 180 degrees Celsius, production commences in a small tea flask. As cells multiply, they are transferred to larger containers from 5 litres to 50, 200 and ultimately 2,000 litres and beyond. As the bioprocess takes place, the volume should be optimal for the cell density in the container. Restaurateurs and their customers are welcoming sustainable and ethical suppliers. But there are concerns around safety, health, genetic modification and quality of the resulting product. First question is, what does it do to my body? What will the impact be? And then eventually people also ask, um, is there a technology aspect of, is it, is it GMO, is it, is it ethical? These kind of questions also come up. The Avant team follows strict guidelines that aim to alleviate safety concerns as well as optimize the final product's taste and texture. Cultivated uh, cells and also uh, cell culture has been here for over 17 years already. So this technology is very established. And genetic modification is one of the ways that make the process easier, but it's not a must. So at Alphameet, we, we have a strict policy. We do not use any genetic modification technique or we do not modify the cells genetically. Nutritional value can also be controlled during the process. Different ratios of fat cells to muscle cells can be chosen to suit dietary requirements. The cell growth process itself also needs to stand up to scrutiny. Traditionally, a fetal bovine serum was used to culture cells. But now, Avant has developed a cell culture nutrient that is not only serum-free, but also free of animal components. When we grow the cells, we provide them with simple nutrients, for example, glucose, amino acids. We use purified water to dissolve all this um, mixture of feed, and then we filter the, um, the feed with uh, very special types of filter that um, even the virus cannot pass through, so to provide very clean culture medium of feed to the cells. And at the same time, when we culture the cells, we do it in a clean room, so in which the room is uh, free of uh, uh, microbes, dust, or other undesirable contaminants from the environment. So um, from using the clean feeds and also the clean room, we basically do not need to add antibiotics, so they, the, the, out, the final product is basically um, um, contaminant-free. The flow-on effect is improved cost-effectiveness in the production process. We have quality control to make sure the genetic uh, stability of the cells and also there will be uh, no mutations in the genes. And also uh, our company has strict policy that we do not use any uh, genetic modification method because um, this, this method is, is, is not a must in uh, cultivating cells. We have uh, other better methods to do so. As the industry develops, the excitement ahead is not just about simplified ways to produce protein, but reduced production time to cater to the world's demand. Growing fish from fries to a sizable fish in a fish farm takes plus or minus 12 months. 
In our case, our process takes roughly about two months, so it's a drastically reduced the production time. Singapore has established new regulations to govern the use of this technology. Cultivated meat products must be approved before selling to the public. Safety, taste, nutrition and environmental sustainability may be the reasons why consumers will prefer cultivated meat. We may in the future wonder why we ever produced meat using animals.